much fun at the park with daddy while I filmed this video. I am excited. I am going to do a very open and honest review today talking about the Dyson Airwrap. I'm a big fan of Dyson products. You guys know I'm obsessed with my vacuum, ain't gonna lie. But when it comes to the Airwrap Styler, I was just so curious personally, does this really work? And is it gonna work for my hair type? Like this video is not sponsored by Dyson. I just wanna mention that first and foremost. I was just really excited to try this product out. Um, it's been getting a lot of hype lately um, across social media. A lot of my fellow influencer friends have been using it and really raving about it and their hair just looks amazing. But I know that my hair texture, it can be super stubborn. It is very curly, very thick. And so I just was genuinely curious if this product really does what it says it's gonna do. It is not cheap. <laughs> it is over $500 um, and some change. I know that some of you guys out there who have been wanting to invest in this product, you've been a little hesitant. Maybe you are trying to really just research it more, see more reviews. And so I hope that this video for all my thick curly haired girls out there, this will just be helpful and informative for you. I don't want y'all to think that this is a video um, where I'm just trying to sell this product to you because the truth is, is I have pros and cons when it comes to this product. Okay, so now let's go ahead and style this bad boy. So here's everything that it comes with. Styling tool, the attachment to dry your hair, four different size attachments to curl, two attachments to smooth and straighten, and then a round brush attachment. I'm actually gonna be using these two barrels right here to curl the hair. It tells you what direction um, that you're going to place the hair and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it because it can be confusing, I'm not gonna lie. So whatever attachment you decide to use, you are going to place it up top. It's so easy to just clip on there and then it has this lock feature right here. You just wanna put that up it's kind of stubborn, but you just wanna put that up and then it should lock it in place so that it doesn't come out. And then the other buttons on here that I should mention is the pressure you want coming out of this. So consider that high and then medium and low. You've got your heat setting. So you've got um, high, medium, and obviously the cool setting right there. And this is your power button, so on and off. It's really hard to talk over it. <laughs> It does have a really clean air sound to it. It's supposed to be healthier for your hair. There's the technology that actually doesn't put as intense direct heat on your hair. So the first time I used this product, I decided to use it just like how it says that you should use it. So you can just kind of give it a rough dry. And so that's what I did. And I really appreciated that you could actually put it all the way in there. And like with blow dryer, sometimes if you get too close to the wiring, it can catch your hair and it can just be just devastating. It does get hot, but I will say it does not get as hot as my blow dryer. My bioionic blow dryer that I got at Sephora, I've had it for years. It gets so hot to just within two brushes, man, my hair gets smooth and straight enough. So I have just loved that blow dryer. This one does get hot. A lot of you who are gonna be trying it out who have just conventional blow dryers, you're gonna probably notice like, whoa, this is amazing. And it is great, but it doesn't compare to already what I have in terms of the blow drying effect. It's probably healthier for my hair, I'm not gonna lie. When I used this, um, I just noticed it took longer to dry. And once I had it pretty dry, still a little damp, I removed the attachment. And then I added this. This is the first time, again, when I use this product. I, atta I attached this to it, and then I decided to section my hair and just kind of like dry it like that. Again, it did the job, um, but it still took me longer to do it with this than my regular blow dryers. Now that I have used this product a couple times, I decided that today when I got out of the shower, I was just going to actually go back to my blow dryer to kind of set the foundation for my hair and just to blow dry it and I timed it and it took me less than 10 minutes to do that with my blow dryer. Just got out of the shower. Um, the products that I used were the In Common Magic Mist. Also used just at my roots, the Orbe Thickening Treatment. Last but not least, I sprayed the Kerastase Genesis. Um, this is just gonna help from breakage, especially when you're using a brush or excess heating tools. But that's pretty much all I put in my hair. girls 
out there who have that thick hair at the roots, it gets, it's curly. It just got the job done. Whereas with this, when I was trying to really straighten the roots out, man, it just took so long and it didn't 100% do the job. Not that it necessarily has to because once you put on the curling attachment or one of the other attachments, it should pick up some of the slack. I have kind of decided that I'll stick to just giving my hair a rough blow dry. I know that I can count on that blow dryer. It's really gonna straighten out the roots. And then I'm gonna use my Dyson to attach the curling wand. So I'm going to section my hair, then just kind of start from the bottom and work my way up to the top. Now I did put on the bigger curling wand attachment. They do have the smaller size here, but I just prefer bigger curls. Once you put the attachment on, when I'm looking at this wand in person right now, it's actually pointing that way. When I look at it in the camera, or if that was an actual mirror, it's actually pointing that way, which is what we want for this side. Follow the direction of the arrow when you're looking in the mirror, not when you're looking at it in real life, because in real life, it's telling me to go that way. Once I figured that out, it made it really easy. It actually will not wrap if you're going the, the wrong way. I'm gonna put this on high heat, and then this is gonna probably change over to voiceover because again, it gets kind of loud and I ain't trying to scream at you. All right, so switching over to voiceover here, as you can see, the air on this Dyson Air Wrap just immediately sucks up my hair. Um, I do have small baby hair, so I kind of have to let those gather and help them out a little bit, but um, this is on the highest heat and the highest pressure. And so just for a few seconds, I'll let it sit there and then I'll switch it over to the cool setting for just like three to five seconds. Um, and as soon as it cools and I feel the effect, I'm just going to turn it off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some of you might be thinking, girl, you going for the little Bo Peep curls? Like what's going on? Don't freak out. It should get pretty curled up. And so I really want that volume, especially in the end when I brush everything out, you're gonna see what a difference it makes. When you do release the hair, they do recommend that you turn it off and it should just release the curl. If you obviously leave it on, it can just get kind of messy because you can release it and then it can grab other sections of hair. I notice even if you do this incorrectly and you put too much hair on it or whatever, it never actually tangles the hair and makes you feel like, oh my God, it's pulling my hair out. I was pretty amazed by that. Okay, let's keep going. Pretty easy once you get the technique down. When you are putting this tool to your hair, you actually wanna start at the bottom and let it naturally kind of work its way up. Um, my hair is pretty long, so I even like to kind of twirl the bottom a little bit so that the hair can really latch on completely. If for some reason you mess up or the curl just ends up looking funky, give it a few seconds to cool. And then once it's cool, you can just do it over again and it should fix it. All right, haven't brushed it yet. One side is done. I'm just gonna quickly do this side. To change the attachment, which I need to do for this side, the best thing to do is to unlock, but don't grab it by the barrel. It's still a little warm, not too hot, but I would just grab right here. This doesn't really get hot, so you can just unlock it and release it. And then with the opposite barrel, we are gonna do just the exact same thing that we did for the other side, and it should feel pretty easy. Now, if some of you guys watching this have short hair or maybe your hair texture is just totally different than mine, maybe some of you have thin hair, know that you can use this um, regardless of if you have long, thick hair or not. If you do have short hair, just make sure that you section it off into small pieces just like I did so you can really get in there and make sure that you get all your hair strands. If you have tons of layers in your hair and so when you put it on the end and it kind of like just gets, all the hair gets crazy. It's not necessarily all wrapping up around the barrel. You might just need to turn your setting um, instead of being on extra high, just try medium or low, and then you can always amp it up once the hair is all kind of gathered. But if you're noticing what I'm doing is I'm literally using my hand to work it and, and to make sure that some of that hair is getting sucked into the wand. The air coming out, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's burning my hair and it's not like super hot, so I can still, kind of maneuver around it and touch some of the hair to bring it in. Coming up on the final two pieces, y'all. When you're doing the top, bring the hair to either which side and use the right attachment. 
And then once it's on, you can bring it kind of like that. Whoa! Last piece! And last minute, gotta fix the attachment. Now I gotta get used to this side again. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, so... <laughs> so once you get done, your hair should look a little something like this. Um, obviously, we've gotta brush this through, okay? I just flip my hair over and I just gently just brush while kind of using my hands too at the same time. Here we go, y'all. Whoa! You see that, y'all? It just makes it look like salon quality. And then obviously, if you want even, you can flip the hair that way. Look at that takes a little bit of energy and a little bit of effort on that day one of styling, but I can guarantee you that when I slept on my hair the first time I tried this product, the next morning when I woke up, here's a picture, look, it still had the volume and it still had the shape. So many things you can do and it just gives you the body to play with. I mean, even doing like a little hair accessory situation. Whoa, this is like bridal hair right here. I usually finish it off with a little bit of texture spray to just kind of keep everything intact. Um, but yeah, I mean, how amazing does this look? This is not something, again, that I can personally do with a curling iron, and especially not in that kind of a record time. I think once you get the technique down, it really does the work for you, and it's worth it if you're somebody who's just looking for you know, it's just a switch up from your everyday go-to look of so many different ways that you can literally style it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I am loving my hair right now. <laughs> can you tell I keep touching it? Let me know what your experience has been like if you have this product and you've tried it. If you do wanna purchase this product, I'll be sure to link it below. Love you guys, excited to bring you more reviews and tutorials. Um, but until next time, mwah, mwah. Bye guys.